boxing truth here. I had to talk about a rising heavyweight, Jarrell Big Baby Miller, who's climbing up the heavyweight rankings. Considered a top 30 heavyweight by according to Box Rec. He's also rated within the IBF's top 15 ratings. Jarrell Miller is a, a character in the heavyweight division. He brings much needed personality to the division. He's got a lot of charisma. He's one of the best interviews in boxing. However, my question to y'all is, if y'all seen him fight, or if y'all heard of him, seen some fights of his, is he real? Is he a real fighter in the, in the division? Does he have the potential to be the next big American heavyweight? Does he have more potential than Deontay Wilder? Does he have more upside compared to Deontay Wilder? Now, Jarrell Miller... Uh, I like his personality, talks a lot of trash. That's always good for the heavyweight division. Creates a great promotion. Wants the big names. He wants the two English muffins of the heavyweight division. The UK heavyweights, he wants to eat both of them for breakfast. And Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Miller thinks Anthony Joshua is just a hype job that's possibly on the juice. Questions his... uh, his weight gain ever since he competed in the Olympics. Doesn't think Tyson Fury carries the power to dominate the heavyweight division. Doesn't believe he can crack an egg if he if he tried. Calls Deontay Wilder a, a, a bum from a bum town. Still hasn't fought the best heavyweights out there. But Jarrell Miller, you go by his resume, it's even weaker than Wilder's. He hasn't even fought the Cowboy of fighters compared to what Wilder has fought. Nowhere near it. Not even rated guys in the heavyweight division. He's coming off a quick stoppage win over Nick Wavis. His last fight about a week ago. He's already got a quick quick turnaround coming for for August the 19th. He's going to be fighting in Rochester, New York. Still no opponent has been decided. That will be upcoming. So it's good he's staying active. He's going to be back in the ring relatively quick. He's already rated by the IBF, so he just has to continue to climb the rankings. However, when I watch Jarrell Miller fight, he's got a a big fighting background. He's he's competed as a kickboxer. He competed in K1. He's got a decent kickboxing record. He actually fought Mirko Krokrop, an MMA legend, twice. Of course, uh, Krokrop was already past it, was 39 years old when they fought, but Jarrell Miller lost twice to him, but I I saw the first fight of them, and Miller gave a good account of himself. Still inexperienced, nowhere near the experience that Krokop brought to the table, but he fought well. He he gave Krokop hell, kicked him in the balls a few times, though, but uh, Krokop won the fight because he landed better strikes and also landed some hellacious kicks that should have knocked Jarrell Miller out, but he was able to take those hellacious kick that he took to the head. Miller's a big dude, though. He's 6'4". He's an aggressive fighter, comes to fight, likes to put on a show, likes to talk trash, likes to get in there and try to knock his opponent out. However, I question his dedication. His his weight has been crazy ever since he's turned professional as, as a prize fighter. He was in the, the 250s range when he had his first professional bout, and now his last fight... He's, he was the heaviest of his career. Well, the second heaviest. As I'm looking at his his record and his weights, his weigh-ins, he weighed 283 for his last fight against Nick Guivas. You have to question dedication. Is if he's going to be serious about being a real contender in the heavyweight division, he's got to he's got to drop some weight. He's got to get into some into some better shape. Just have to question the dedication. Is is he? Does he want it enough? Does he want to be the heavyweight champion of the world? Is he mentally strong enough to overcome the issues with becoming heavyweight champion? He's got to get into better shape. He should really try to get down to the 260 range to get more more faster, get more fluid, get more speed. Because his speed is not what I considered above average. It's... He's got some talent. He's got some. He's big. He's strong. He's got some hands, but he's he doesn't have the speed, 
and he's very green right now. He needs more fights. He needs more work. He needs to get into better shape. But he's going to be an interesting character in the heavyweight division forever long it lasts. Whether he's real or not, we will find out uh, sooner rather than later. He's, he wants the big fights. He's calling all the big guys out. Understands that he's not getting any responses from the top heavyweights because he needs to get into position to fight those guys. Those guys are looking for other fish to fry, other more interesting names, more better known opponents out there, also better, bigger money fights out there to be made. So, Gerald Miller has to get into position, climb the rankings, force a mandatory, and then he can get one of the named heavyweights to fight him. Most likely, maybe he'll position himself for the obvious strap for Anthony Joshua's uh, belt, since Gerald Miller's been talking a lot of shit about Anthony Joshua, even considers, even accuses him of, of perhaps using. But, Jerome Miller, he's he's back on August 19th. We need to see him in there with better opponents compared to the opponents that he's fought thus far. I wouldn't mind a, a berman Stavern fight just to see where he's at. Stavern's a, a guy who's up there in age, but a guy that can give that can show where Jerome Miller is at in his career if he's if he has the ability to be a Season veteran heavyweight like Bermain Stavern, who's fought at the world level, has won a world title. And there's also some bad blood there, you know. <laughs> Jarrell Miller disrespected Stavern hard. In, in, in one video I saw, it wasn't too long ago, about a month ago. But he disrespected the shit out of Stavern. I mean, I would have did the same shit if, if I was Stavern. I would have tried to knock his head off. Miller just pretty much called him a paper champion or a champion for a day and try to say what's up to him like he was his friend. Dis disrespected the shit out of him and Stavern came after him. Shannon Briggs had to, had to hold him back. So Stavern would have get through and try to knock Gerard Miller's head off. Funny video. But we need more type of personalities and, and trash talking heavyweights out in the, in the heavyweight division to make the, the division even more interesting. Miller's climbing up the rankings. We'll see what he has in the future. The, this promoter is going to bring him up a little slowly because he's still developing, still a little green. Still a young guy. He's only 27 years old, so no rush. Heavyweights mature a lot later compared to other divisions. But I'm intrigued. I'm going to continue to see him, to watch him fight. And hopefully he can get a Name fighter, a veteran heavyweight, to show the boxing world if he if if he has the potential to perhaps challenge for a world title. But y'all, let me know what y'all think. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.